Hey guys, what's up? We are here at Whole Foods, as you can see in the background, and I'm with my mama, and we're gonna go in and find our top five favorite keto finds, so let's do this. Okay guys, I don't care how much you crinkle cut it, butternut squash is not a fry. That's not a fry. Where are the potatoes? Don't try to trick me with this crinkle cut nonsense. I want a potato. Kale pesto salsa. I mean, I feel like those are just three words that should not go next to each other. Right, exactly. And salsa should just be red. Exactly, that's what I'm saying. Exactly. Yeah, so, but you know, anything green like this better be guacamole. Exactly. Speaking of guacamole, you see that spicy right there. Uh, no, move no, your hand. No, no avert. See? Mm. This. Wow. Spicies for losers. No. For loot? I mean, or for people no. who don't want to no. win. No, exactly. No. Ew. Fishy. I don't want my food to have eyes on it. Okay. No. No, I mean, but, no, no. But, hey. This thing is bearing right into my soul. No, but you you eat cow. Cows have eyes. But I don't see the eyes when I, no. Nope, wrong. Nope. No, wrong. No. But awful. ew, I hate seafood, you guys. <laughs> I'm sorry. Comment down below. Oh, if, yeah. How do you feel about seafood? I mean. Like, I hate it. Okay, so like the verdict is in, like no matter how mm. nice the seafood, no. I just can't. No, seafood I'm, is seafood. Ugh, I don't want to see that food. Seafood. <laughs> <laughs> that is no. You're so funny. Oh, no, that is Yeah, that's gross. gross. Ew, ew, gross. Ew, yeah. ew. Bacon, bacon, bacon. Bacon, bacon, Look bacon. Look the saucy. Ooh. That is a sausage that's a, situation we got going on there. That's a nice, healthy link right there. Oh my Woo. goodness. You guys, if they have the flipping G. Hughes honey mustard here, I'm oh. going to lose it. Okay. Well, I'd okay. like to see you lose it. So I want to see it. <laughs> Let's find it. I'm going to make it. I'm going to print a label. Okay, guys, we've come to like the canned fish section, like the sardines and things like that. And I know they're good for you. I know they are. I just can't do it. I just can't do it. Like that is, I feel like that's keto level two is when you can just eat sardines and anchovies out of a can. I have not graduated to that level, you guys. No, Pray for me. Is, it's Italian. So you wouldn't understand. No, so a, prasada. No, this is somebody's name. You know, like, girl, so prasada, get in here. Oh my God. It's raining Absolutely outside. Absolutely not. You just got your hair did. Nope. You got a really nice yeah. ghee selection over no. here. To ghee or not I hate to you. ghee. I hate you. More stock footage. <laughs> Oh my God, I've never seen moon cheese in real life. I thought you could just get that off the internet. Okay. Behind me, look, moon cheese. This stuff, I had this for the first time at KetoCon. This stuff is delicious. The cheddar's delicious. The Gouda is so Gouda. You know what I'm talking oh, about? Oh, wow. It's really okay. good. I'm going to have to. No, I'm definitely going to have to buy me some of that. Yes, I will definitely have to try some of the moon cheese that I buy. Yes, Got exactly. It. exactly. I was going to say, I, I definitely have to try some of your moon cheese. Exactly. My favorite one of these is that one, that one, that one, that one, that one, that one, and that one. Clearly and clearly you're just that going one. through naming them all. Got it. That's my favorite. That's my my favorite. I mean, for real. But my really my honest favorite one is that one, that one, that one. See, that one, that but one. what you're doing is still one, naming all of that them. That one, that one. Yeah, all Zevia all the time. But you know what? Even though they have a large selection, they never have strawberry. Like, I only had strawberry one time when I was in Atlanta, and it was delicious. And I've looked everywhere and it must just be a regional thing because they don't have it so many different types of almonds where are the ones oh my gosh these dill pickle almonds you guys they're almonds but they taste like pickles what these are so good so many different types of nuts here oh my gosh and then i'd be remiss if i didn't bring it over to this side to the bar section you guys grab a seat at the bar okay <laughs> Cauliflower, flower, cauliflower, flower. I bet that has flour in it though. I bet that is misleading AF. Okay, let's, let's flip this over. Uh, 18 carbohydrates. That is a gall darn shame. Yes, yeah, so and three is fiber, but there no. are not, total oh. nine grams of sugar. Over See, seven. where is the darn halloumi? Okay guys, we are ready to start naming our top five finds. My number five, is the meat section. I mean, look at all these sausages. They have so many different pre-flavored, pre-done things and pre-done options for you that like, you just can't go wrong. This is all high quality stuff and it's all readily available. Number five, meat section. All right guys, number four, the nut section. I mean, there are just so many different options. They have so many that are 
salted, unsalted, unroasted, roasted. You have your flavored kind, like the dill pickle almonds. Like when you're in the mood for a crunchy snack, and you wanna have a lot of options, like this is the place to go. So I'm calling number four, oh, cashews. I'm calling number four, the nut section. Number three, all things Lily's chocolate. Like, this stuff is so good. It is by no means the only keto chocolate bar out there, but it is, I would say, one of the most readily available. You can go to any Whole Foods, you can find the largest variety, and all these flavors are delicious. Now, I will say, you gotta be careful. Like, don't eat this whole bar, because that erythritol in there, it's gonna mess with your tummy a little bit, okay? So, you know, you don't practice your portions, but like, in terms of just like a sweet treat on hand, this is the best way to go. Number three, Lily's chocolate. Number two is gonna be the ice cream section, okay? The thing I love about Whole Foods is that they have a bunch of different brands of low carb and keto ice cream. They got Slim Twin, they got Enlighten, they have Halo Top, which has a lot of good keto friendly options. And then they also have the varieties that I can't get at like a Kroger or a Meyer. Like what is that? Strawberry cheesecake? What? Enlightened? What? So I really like that you can come here to get the flavors that you can't really find anywhere else. So number two, the ice cream section. All right guys, and number one at Whole Foods, hands down, has to be the cold and the hot bar, okay? Like this is just one of the places you can come to make a salad, to get you some, there's always keto options on the hot bar. There's some pulled pork right over there. You got some eggs and bacon over there. You can always stop in and get a high quality helpful option and either hot or cold and it is delicious all the time i'm gonna say the number one best thing at whole foods are the bars number five for me is moon cheese i can't wait to try i've heard so much about moon cheese i hear it's out of this world <laughs> so it's delicious well well that's uh, yet to be seen but hey my number five out of this world moon cheese my number four is this vegetable sriracha no sugar added it's medium heat so you know i'm gonna try to like i said I'm gonna try to get the heat. Literally, down. what are you gonna put that on? No, this was, it's a good, like I said, good additive. Just say if you do the crumbled beef, throw a little bit on it, give mm, it some flavor, that, chunk that. a little sour cream on it. So don't be hating my game. I know, like, that's what's up. Okay, you know, you're right. So, all right, for my number three, <laughs> one, two, three, yes. Um, it is like the, the, the rice and up everything. I mean, the rice is right, not the price is right. We have Brussels sprout halves, we have rice and broccoli. I mean, that's amazing. That's what I'm saying. You cannot, with keto and at Whole Foods, you cannot say there aren't any options. Okay, guys, we're back. I know you recognize this area. The number two for me, this is number two for me. And I hate copying off of her, but that's what happens when she gets to go first. But actually, the bars are amazing. The food selection, fresh as can be. Number two, definitely, is the cold bar. All right, guys, my number one is Lily's chocolate i mean the variety and again my favorite one that one that one that one that one that's just not how that works there you go lily chocolate my number one Okay, mom, so overall, what did you think about Whole Foods? It was pretty good. I liked it. It was a very large store. Yeah, that's what I like about Whole Foods. It's it's like the largest specialty food store that you're going to find. Oh, and Therefore, you're going to have a lot of options. Um, and the options is right. There were so very many. I will say that, you know, just like Trader Joe's and a lot of these other stores, they have fresh, organic, right. natural stuff. That's still all sugar laden. So you definitely want to like watch out. Yes. But overall, you know, you're going to be able to find any item that you find. I feel like you're going to be able to find the, the majority of the options at Whole Foods. So you have Lily's bars. Maybe you have one or two flavors at another grocery store. Mm -hmm. At Whole Foods, you're yeah. going to find seven. Yes. You know, ice cream, one or two flavors somewhere. At Whole Foods, you're going to find pretty much variety, all of them. Yeah, it's, variety, it's the, variety. It's variety. So, and I mean, depending on what you buy, it's not that expensive. You know, some people coin Whole Foods like Whole Paycheck. Wow. You know, that's awesome. <laughs> they do. Awesome. They do, because you go there and you can spend right, your whole yo, paycheck. Yo, you got could have. Depending on the specialty items you buy, like we saw, uh, the lilies are comparable to what they are at other grocery right. stores. The Zevia is comparable. Right. So for those specialty items, it actually is still, it lines up pretty well. Right, it does. I mean, it's exactly the 
options were there. They do have sales as well. Mm -hmm. So if you catch them on sale, so you'll be able to get some of those things too. It was great. I can't wait Ooh, to try my snickerdoodle ice cream. Oh my gosh, Woo! that is going to be delicious. Mm -hmm. I, I, like I said, I've never seen that flavor. Yeah. So, you know, like I see enlightened all over, but I've never seen that. I never saw that strawberry cheesecake. So right. like just all of the different options. Right. I'm, I'm excited to try those Lily's uh, peanut butter cups Cups, right. and yeah, uh, the chocolate covered those. peanuts. So I am excited about that as well. Okay guys, comment down below. Yes. What are your favorite finds at Whole Foods? Is there anything that we missed? I mean, we saw the cheeses. Right. We saw yes, a whole bunch saw of stuff. So I'm, I'm always going to gravitate toward the sweets of those. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> no, that was those always will always be, be my favorite, yeah. no matter what store I go to. But the hot bar too. The bars are also, I think, what set oh, Whole Foods yes. apart. Oh yes. Well. Like she said, pull up a stool. Those bars were, <laughs> were amazing. Yes. Amazing. Okay, well, that's it until next time. Bye. Bye.